What is going on y'all, Depth here and welcome back to Genshin Impact. In this quick video, I want to talk to y'all about leveling up your Serenity Pot so you can get more coins, build more things, and overall progress faster. Now, this method I do not recommend it to anybody actually looking to slowly build up their thing or to actually use their points right now in a meaningful way to make everything look very nice. This is for those that want to get their level up very fast to unlock more things and have overall more things to place in their little serenity pod. Now, with that clarification out of the way, let's talk about it. First off, you wanna make sure that when you start the game and you start building upon your serenity pod, you focus on the inside. So get all the blueprints you can that have to do with building inside. That is because every room inside of the house has a different you know, amount of things you can put down. So it's not like a global amount of things, but every room has a separate limit to how many things you can put, allowing you to generally put a lot more stuff than you would otherwise be able to put outside. Now, with that out the way, let's talk to Tubby and let's see what I advise you guys actually get. So you wanna come to your furnishing, right? If you don't have these blueprints, get them, buy them off him. But generally what you wanna do is buy the higher tier blueprints. For the inside, I would advise these, the pine folding screen, because they're very easy to make, as you can see right at the bottom. They don't require a lot of things and they do not take a lot of room, allowing you to get a lot of adeptal energy from these things. So I highly advise that you at least pick one room where you build these things and just fill the room to the brim with these. You can also use things like the lounge sofa, that also works and it's very easy to make as well, very, very easy. So you can go for this as well, but the problem with this is that it's a little bigger. Nonetheless, you can indeed go out of your way and build this one as well. You can build this or you can build many of the other things that you have at your disposal here. Just make sure you get the blueprints from Tutty. Now, let's go inside and see what you guys actually want to do. So. Let's go inside the mansion and let's check everything out. Like I said, you want to make sure that you fill the rooms to the brim with either sofas or the little things that I showed you in there. Now, I'm going to show you one room that I started working on yesterday on stream. And as you can see right here, we have a ton of sofas right here. We're still on the way to filling up some of the other rooms. But as you can see, everything is pretty nice in here. And what I'm trying to show you guys when it comes to the building limit is what you could see up here. If you pay attention, this room where I'm at right now has 1,150 in its cost, in its load. But if you look at this room, it has 150, this other room has 150, and this one has 150. This is the main room, which is where you see all the different things, meaning you can make every one of these rooms just as full as this one or this one. So remember, go into every room and fill it with these items as it will allow you to get more points into your Serenity Pot. Now, I know a lot of people might think, I don't wanna waste my resources and my time crafting a whole bunch of the same things. I get that, and I totally agree. If you're someone that's taking your time and you don't mind you know, taking a while to explore, build your stuff, and you want everything looking nice like this, by all means, take your time, do what you gotta do, but this video is for those that are looking to get a lot of coins, level up fast to unlock the second area where they can build outside. Yes, we will get a second area, and so they can build more things faster. So remember, the things that I told you are gonna be the fastest. For the outside now, there's one more thing that I advise everybody places down. Now, I don't know if you've seen these, but there's these lion rock statues. If you place these outside, you're gonna get a ton of adeptal energy, guys. Now, these don't take a lot of room. And the last thing I wanna really talk to you guys about is pets right here. This might bum some people out, but pets are very cost inefficient. They will take a lot of room and they will not give you a lot of adeptal energy. So I know a lot of people will see the little doggos and don't want to place them down outside. Once again, that's fine and dandy. You can have them out. But if you're looking to farm and level up as fast as possible to get your things, you might want to put those pets away for now. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what tricks you are doing to level up your Serena teapot. And if you'd like to share pictures or just hang out, ask people to join your Serena teapot to speed up your crafting time, join our Discord. We have a glorious community that loves this game. 
For now, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching, and your boy Death Gun, out.